Hey y'all, it's Andrew Reed with Mossy Creek Mushrooms, and today I was going to go over how we inoculate blocks. Last time I put a video out, I had a lot of questions and email messages and uh, even uh, YouTube comments on how do we inoculate blocks. So a couple days ago, one of my new hires, uh, Laura and myself, uh, while Samantha was out running errands, we were doing lab work and we took some b-roll of that so I'm going to try to overplay that some for you so you can see the process as I'm talking about it but basically it comes down to we unload the steamer into the shelves right over here and those shelves are directly in the flow of the flow hood there <clears throat> and that allows us to clean or allows us to cool our blocks with clean air getting it backwards um, so they the blocks will get unloaded like tonight for example because we have production tomorrow and they go on the, the cooling racks and they cool overnight and the next morning the work crew comes in and we produce you know right now we're producing two tons of substrate every single week so they'll come through and they'll do 167 12 pound blocks um, through the lab now the way this works for the lab is we take a block we put it on the table, we alcohol it down, open the block, excuse me, open the bag. You have to pardon me guys, I've actually got a bit of a chest cold right now. So every now and then I might have to, you know, which I don't like to do in the lab, but. Um, <clears throat> so going back to it, we have our blocks go on the table, they get alcohol down, the bag gets opened, and we pour spawn in. And right now we're doing uh, double spawning because we're trying to catch up on some of our restaurant orders. And so we're trying to get blocks grown in a little bit faster. And so we're spawning at a higher rate. Uh, that means that we're doing 20 12 pound bags for every five pound bag of grain spawn. But normally we do 40 to 50 uh, 12 pound blocks for every five pound bag of grain spawn. And, and that's just to get us to go faster. But typically I like to stretch my spawn out. Um, we've got a pretty good cycle going and I don't like to use unnecessary amounts of spawn when my blocks are coming out so clean. So with that, <clears throat> we pour the spawn in. We just eyeball it. I know a lot of people like to use scoops. We don't use scoops. I just feel like that's another point of contact, another point of contamination. So just another vector. I know lots of people who do it and they do it very, you know, with, with great success. I'm not saying that you can't do it that way. It's just I like to eliminate every single vector that I can, and my fallback is always on the human behavior rather than on um, another another tool, unless that tool allows for human behavior to be that much stronger, that much more amplified. I just don't see a spoon as, as anything that amplifies my productive power. So, so recapping: block gets put down, alcohol bag gets opened spawns poured in and then we seal uh, by running it through our sealer which is right here ah, that way like trying to work in a mirror um, <clears throat> oh my gosh Gender, get a grip <clears throat> so when the block gets sealed we allow it to go through its cooling cycle at that time as soon as that the, the operator hits the sealer, they're turning around and they're grabbing another block, putting it on the table, alcoholing it down, typically opening the bag. At that point, the sealer oftentimes opens and either the bag shaker grabs the bag out of the sealer or the, uh, the inoculator will take that bag and set it over for the person shaking bags. And then the bag gets shaken, and we do just a, a simple bag shaking process. Um, I tap my bags on the table. I don't like my wrists to take any kind of impact, so I do it very straight armed. Um, I use my big muscles, my lats, and such, rather than you know biceps. I'm not trying to do curls. This isn't really a workout or anything like that. Um, I want my body to take as little impact as possible, so I tap it on the table, so that the table takes the impact. That loosens the block. I flip the bag over. I then shake that spawn until I see it all running all the way through. I then just kind of grab the bag and, and knead it like I'm, I'm kneading dough. Uh, that spreads the spawn around. After that spawn is uh, spread around, I flip the bag back over and then just shake it again so that I see the spawns evenly spread. As soon as I see that it's evenly spread or, or mostly evenly spread, the bag gets uh, 
uh, pull tight so all the, spot, all the substrate goes back down to the bottom and then it gets put onto our cart and then gets taken in uh, for shelving and that's usually done by one of the shakers that we've, we've got. So right now our optimum crew size is, is three people, uh, one person inoculating, two people shaking bags. We're able to do um, one full ton of substrate in roughly three, three and a half hours. Um, <clears throat> With a three-person crew, our, our, you know that turns out the man hours is um, nine to ten and a half man hours per ton of substrate, and after that, they sit in our brood chamber, our brood room, um, our inocula our uh, uh, incubation room. Wow, um, <laughs> they get put into our incubation room for two to three weeks, depending on the species. Some species take four weeks, sometimes six weeks. Uh, we tend to stay towards the oyster, so two to three weeks is our time frame in incubation. Uh, other than that, guys, I say that a lot, I know, but it's very simple. It, it's just everything about what we do is, is very, very simple. I, I try to remove uh, any kind of complications from our system. Complications are for experiments that we run, you know, breeding new strains, things like that. When it comes to raw productive power, we just try to keep everything simple. You know, use the KISS method. Keep, keep it simple, stupid. So, um, I, I, I don't really have anything else for you beyond that. <coughs> Excuse me, again, I'm feeling a little sick, so I'm sorry if this seemed a little rushed or anything else like that. I'm trying to to manage a chest cold while speaking to you guys. So, with that, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to our channel for more mushroom growing information. Check out our new website. Melanie has been working on it. It's it's not finished, but uh, I'm liking where it's going. And our shipping is finally. We have a plug-in now where we couldn't use before with our old service provider where shipping is much cheaper for you guys than what it was before. So that will eliminate a lot of the price point that uh, um, was really kind of hurting everybody. Uh, the t-shirts are, are in on the website. Check those out. And uh, beyond that, guys, keep spawn culture, y'all.